So knowing that there will be more green energy produced because of the work that I'm doing is very satisfying to me. My name is Rosemary Vines and I'm a project manager at LM Wind Power. In my job I develop new technology projects and at the moment I'm working on ice mitigation technologies. So these are used in areas where um, cold areas where ice can build up on the wind turbine blades. So we heat the blades up um, which melts the ice off and keeps the turbines operating efficiently that mean that we can put turbines in places where you wouldn't have been able to have turbines previously. So um, in cold climates, you can't have a turbine there if you don't have a way to melt ice off. You can put the wind turbines more or less anywhere. Now they have offshore wind turbines. We have, um, there's wind turbines in Antarctica. Anywhere you want to put a turbine, there will be a way to, to make a technology that makes that possible. My name is uh, Jesper Thusen. I'm a team leader of a team of experts in uh, mechanical design and process design of especially composite uh, structures. Um, so we focus on innovation of new technologies and uh, new materials for the production of wind turbine blades. By keep innovating on, uh, on our bonded joints or all the materials that we actually put into the, 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 the blade, so if we can optimize the materials that we use to make them as strong and stiff as possible, then we can make, uh, we can make the blade la uh, larger, uh, longer uh, for the same weight. And a longer blade uh, catches more wind and produces more, uh, more energy. My name is Christian Jacobsen and I'm a technical engineer in what we call the energy reduction program in LM Wind Power. The biggest achievement within my field of area in LM last year was maybe that we were going carbon neutral as the first in the industry actually to be a carbon neutral business. And it takes a lot. We have to reduce a lot and also in the following years we have to work against it. It's just not one thing is becoming carbon neutral. The next thing is what can we do better in terms of efficiency and, and savings, reducing the carbon footprint. So it's a balance between workshop compliance and, and at the same time see how efficient can we run these air handling units we have, the, the big cooling systems which we use. Last year we reduced the energy consumption in LM Wind Power with 2.5 million US dollars in total. So it's actually, it's a really interesting time to be working in wind energy. The field is changing really rapidly. Um, in the past, we saw a lot more incremental changes. Blades were getting just a little bit longer every year. And now we're seeing really radical step changes. Like now we make some blades that come in two pieces um, so that they can be more easily transported to site. Things are happening much faster than they used to. So we need new ways to work on these innovation projects. And I'm really excited by that at the moment, figuring out how can we run these projects to learn in the fastest possible way. Engineering, I think traditionally, people used to consider that good engineering was doing it right the first time, but now with these um, more rapid innovations, it's much more like the way that uh, probably like kids would play. You know, you try around, see what things work, and as long as you're learning from everything that you try, then it doesn't matter if you don't get everything right the first time because you're, you're learning with every iteration and projects are being developed in that way now. Me personally, I'm very proud of working in a company like this that can help uh, sustain a more, uh, more green future. Uh, the company originating in Denmark uh, makes me also, as a Dane, very, very proud that we as a relatively small country can make a big contribution to the green future uh, of our world. So my advice for people that want to work in sustainability or, or any field really is to see what are, 
what's the area that you want to have an impact on and then you try and match your interests and your skills to that. So for me as engineering and there's an obvious link between engineering and new technologies so that was a really a really good way that I can have an impact there but um, you could have that impact in a lot of different ways as well. I mean renewable energy companies need all sorts of skills, um, types of skills working for them so I, I think that you can have an impact in a lot of different ways. Thank you.